direct seeding of rice now this is a particular way of cultivation of rice right and let me tell you rice is a staple food for most of india particularly around the coastal areas and the rice producing areas as we can see from the map here that is around 2016-2017 that rice production particularly after the green revolution uh, in the 1960s when the government tried to promote more and more cultivation of rice and wheat crops so Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Odisha, Ch Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, uh, Assam and also these are not the exhaustive list some states also produce minor amount of rice also so these are the largest producer of rice and among them West Bengal is the largest producer of rice among the largest producers now rice is a major kharif crop we have to understand that these are the crops that are cultivated during the summer season right and harvested just before winter and these are present among all the major agrarian states and let me tell you rice cultivation is the kind of cultivation which consumes a large amount of groundwater and states like Punjab and Haryana particularly they are facing a groundwater crisis mostly attributed to heavy amount of cultivation of rice because rice we have to understand can be cultivated in many ways now we have to understand that uh, this huge amount of water which is being used in rice cultivation this is just to prevent you know the growth of weeds because this is actually being water is actually being used as herbicides we have understood that the cultivation of rice is taking a huge amount of ground water so what to do here so there are some ways here first is to diversify from the crops that require too much water to the crops that require less amount of water uh, so we can do what we can diversify say from the cultivation of rice to the cultivation of millets now these millets are requiring less amount of water so we can also understand that millets are also more nutritious than rice also so we can do this one thing the second thing is that we can adopt water saving techniques now this is the point of our discussion here that this you know direct seeding of rice or DSR method is actually an innovative way to reduce the requirement of water for our rice crop and this is actually slowly gaining popularity among all the farmers in the uh, country because we have to understand that some of the states are particularly stressed you know with regards to water now here <clears throat> let us look at the very first technique of uh, cultivation of rice the first is normal transplantation technique now see the uh, under this technique there can be two types first is the mechanical type and the manual type we can understand the manual type is using just laborers and the mechanical type is using machines now what is this thing now here the very first step is that the farmers will be preparing nurseries or nurseries means we will be taking say an area of say this will be around say 1 meter to 1 meter and we will be planting rice seeds right so we will be breeding this particular area for a period of time and we will be taking care of it so we will be only concerned about this area and like this we will be making some 100 groups of this particular system so this is one nursery nursery is just like you know the rice seed are just planted and we have to take care of them just like we take care of kids in nursery schools right so initially we are just taking care of this uh, you know rice very very properly and here we have to understand that these uh, in these nurseries the paddy seeds or the rice seeds are of a sown and this raised into young uh, adults right then the seedlings are uprooted and replanted 25 uh, to around 25 days later in the actual field so we have to understand these are actually carried off the field and after 25 days we are uprooting these and placing them in the real field so this is the time when the plant actually go to school right now for the first three weeks we need to irrigate the field daily and we have to literally inundate as we can see from the picture right as we can see from the picture in both of this picture whether you are using manual labor or machines right we are using heavy amount of water because water is preventing the growth of weeds 
and these weeds can be destructive to the uh, crop right so that is why water growth is preventing the weeds because the weeds needs oxygen and water inundation of uh, rice field is not giving the weeds oxygen so they are being prevented now this is a very water intensive matter what we can do to actually reduce the water inten uh, water intake we can go through direct seeded rice now this direct seeded rice means that there can be again two ways first is a dry way and a wet way now uh, under a dry way we use various specialized uh, you know machines such as happy seeder zero tillage machine right uh, with seeder which is not the point of our discussion here but these are the techniques which or say the machines which are used then in under wet we can understand that we use a drum seeder also now these seeder machines just do what they just plant the seeds directly in the soil this is a simple thing to understand now we have we have seen that we can have three kind of system here first is direct seeding in dry bed when there is no water the field is entirely dry as we see the normal fields then there can be direct seeding in a wet bed or where the field is kind of wet and direct seeding in standing water that means this is particularly uh, the same way in the traditional way now here uh, under the first one we can understand that dry seeds are sown in aerobic soil by a broadcasting method or just spreading the seeds like this by hand broadcasting method or also by via drilling or sowing in rows that means drilling and sowing in rows are actually done by this happy seeder machine using specialized machinized algorithm so they actually try to plant the uh, you know seeds evenly around the entire field and where we can do this we can do this properly in rain fed area where we know there there will be proper rain fall particularly during the monsoon season particularly in the states of say uttar pradesh eastern up west bengal where there is proper amount of rainfall during rain for you know monsoon season and after planting we can expect a good rain then why we will be using uh, you know wet uh, bed because here we have to understand that these are also the areas where we have proper rains right but here we are using pre germinated seeds right in this wet bed we are using pre germinated almost like the nurseries then under direct sand uh, you know uh, seeding under standing water here this is a special type of dsr which are specially cultivated uh, in uh, you know areas or say practiced in areas which have a weeding problem which have huge problems of weeds so here we cannot help but use water right now generally discussing these are the minor small details but generally this is a dsr method and here let us discuss the advantages and disadvantages finally the uh, you know context of the news is that that most of the farmers in india are adopting this dsr method and they are getting good benefits out of this also right so let us understand the advantages the very first is it is highly you know saving the waters so it is leading to water saving and also this is leading to saving of labor also because here we can use a drum or you can use a happy seeder to directly drill the seeds uh, you know in the soil so we can also save labor and the traditional method is using a lot of labor we have to understand that they are doing nurseries they are again transplanting right so this is an age old practice which even the mesopotamians and the indus valley civilization people did right so that was using a lot of labor also so again if you are using a lot of labor that is leading to rise in cost also so indirectly we can say that costs are also being saved and profits will be increasing of the farmer right this is also following the ashok dalwai committee recommendations of doubling the farmer's income correct then it will be also reducing the methane emissions because methane emissions are particularly released from paddy wet fields so this paddy wet fields in uh, connection with the paddy crop in connection with the soil microorganism they release a lot of methane so agriculture is one of the highest emitters of methane and methane is a global warming gas so and it has more potential than the carbon dioxide so more methane will be leading to more global warming so dsr is also leading to uh, inefficiencies in climate change now here the drawbacks of dsr are that 
the availability of herbicides right kind uh, will be kind of less right in uh, some ideas because dsr is not using water mostly and we need water as herbicides so we have to understand we have to supply herbicide from the outside so we have to use also chemicals here then for dsr laser land leveling is required or means the land has to be properly even so that the you know rice can be properly drilled in the soil so for that the land has to be even totally even and this has to be with a laser leveler and this is quite costly also some indian farmers may not even have this facility at their respective fields so this is something to be not full of right then at this uh, time of sowing it is important that the seeds needs to be sown by the very first fortnight of june because the indian monsoon will be coming soon and because uh, dsr is actually depending on rains so again we can say that this method is left to the gamble of the indian monsoon particularly because the indian monsoon right now have becoming very very uneven particularly due to the effects of climate change so these are the drawbacks but nevertheless uh, we are actually saving water which is a very good resource and we have to find the solution about you know regarding this for example the last problem can be solved using micro irrigation using rain water harvesting right then this laser land leveling can be solved with proper government initiatives the government can give some incentive to the farmer say government can uh, say properly heat to many specialized uh, rent uh, you know institutions which will be renting out these equipments to the farmers right so these are the ways to go and even under organic farming we can understand that we use various ways and also under natural farming we use various plant species in you know uh, you know local plant species which are actually resistant to herbicide uh, you know weeds so we can also reduce the herbicide so every problem has a solution like in life so similarly here also